Hello everyone, welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will derive the formula in finding the sum of the terms of a given finite geometric sequence. The expression denoting the sum of the terms of finite geometric sequence is called geometric series. Geometric series is denoted by S sub n. Let us consider this example of geometric sequence. 3, 6, 12, up to 384. Let us find the sum of all the terms of this geometric sequence. We can rewrite this as S sub n equals 3 plus 6 plus 12 all the way to 192 plus 384. The common ratio of this geometric sequence is equal to 2. Let us multiply the common ratio to each term of this equation. S sub n times 2, the answer is 2s sub n. 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 12 times 2 is equal to 24. All the way to 192 times 2 is equal to 384. And last term, 384 times 2 is equal to 768. We have two equations here. And if you will notice, in these two equations, there are common terms. Let us rewrite the first equation as S sub n equals 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 all the way to 384. To solve for S sub n, let us subtract these two equations. S sub n minus 2S sub n is equal to negative S sub n. 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. 24 minus 24 is equal to 0. All the way to 384 minus 384 which is also equal to 0. And lastly, 0 minus 768 equals negative 768. On the left side of the equation, we have negative S sub n. On the right side, we have 3 minus 768. Let us simplify. We have negative S sub n equals 3 minus 768 is equal to negative 765. To solve for S sub n, we will divide negative 1 to both sides of this equation. Negative S sub n divided by negative 1 is equal to S sub n. Negative 765 divided by negative 1, the answer is positive 765. S sub n is equal to 765. And 765 is the sum of all the terms of geometric sequence 3, 6, 12, all the way to 384. Let us use this idea in deriving the formula in finding the sum of the terms of finite geometric sequence. Let us consider these terms of finite geometric sequence. a sub 1, a sub 1 r, a sub 1 r squared, all the way to the second to the last term, which is a sub 1 r raised to n minus 2, and the nth term, a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Let us find the sum of all these terms. We can rewrite this as S sub n equals A sub 1 plus A sub 1 r plus A sub 1 r squared all the way to A sub 1 r raised to n minus 2 plus A sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Let us multiply the common ratio, which is r, to each term of this equation. S sub n times r is equal to r S sub n. A sub 1 times r is equal to A sub 1 r. A sub 1 r times r is equal to A sub 1 r squared. A sub 1 r squared times r is equal to A sub 1 r cubed. All the way to A sub 1 r raised to n minus 2 times r is equal to A sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. And last term, A sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 times r 
is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n. In these two equations, there are common terms. Let us rewrite the first equation as s sub n equals a sub 1 plus a sub 1 r plus a sub 1 r squared plus a sub 1 r cubed all the way to the last term which is a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. We can see clearly that there are common terms in these two equations. To solve for s sub n, let us subtract these two equations. s sub n minus r s sub n is equal to s sub n minus r s sub n equals a sub 1 minus 0 is equal to a sub 1. a sub 1 r minus a sub 1 r is 0. This is also equal to 0. This is also equal to 0 all the way to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 minus a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 which is also equal to 0. And we have 0 minus a sub 1 r raised to n equals negative a sub 1 r raised to n. We have s sub n minus r s sub n equals a sub 1 minus a sub 1 r raised to n. Let us find the factor on the left side and on the right side. On the left side, the common factor is s sub n. We have s sub n times the quantity 1 minus r. On the right side, the common factor is a sub 1. And we have a sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r raised to n. To solve for s sub n, we will divide both sides by 1 minus r s sub n times the quantity 1 minus r divided by 1 minus r, the answer is equal to s sub n. And we have s sub n equals a sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. This is the formula in finding the sum of the terms of finite geometric sequence. This formula is equivalent to s sub n equals a sub 1 times quantity r raised to n minus 1 all over r minus 1, where r is not equal to 1. These are the two formulas that we can use in finding the sum of the terms of finite geometric sequence. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.